Not the 440 like we had expected, but Aprilia has rolled out a larger 457 Super Sport. Yes, the RS457 has been globally unveiled, but India will be the first market to get this Super Sport. Why? Because it's made right here in this country at their Baramati plant. And the launch is expected to take place closer to Bharat GP. So here's all that Aprilia's latest Super Sport packs. Now the RS457 looks absolutely smashing. In fact, it stays true to Aprilia's new RS Sport bike design language that first came about with the RS660. In fact, this bike does look like a shrunken down RS660, especially with its sharp twin LED headlamp face and even the winglets and the bodywork is aero optimized. So you find the neat little cuts helping you cut through the air more efficiently. And in typical Aprilia fashion, you get a sleek tail section as well as all the lighting elements on the bike are LEDs. Now at the heart of this RS457 is a 457cc twin cylinder liquid cooled motor that makes the maximum possible power that is permissible for A2 license. That is 35 kilowatts or 47.86 PS. And the cherry on top here is that it weighs 159 kilos drive. Just to put that into perspective, the new 390 Duke with the larger 399cc motor, well, that makes the same power, but it is six kgs heavier than the RS457 with having one less cylinder. Now, coming back to the RS457, if you're wondering what the top figures are, well, Aprilia hasn't divulged that as yet, but we expect it to have good mid-range performance because of its 270-degree crank offset, which we've also seen on the RS660. So expect it to be a punchy motor. Now, a six-speed gearbox was obvious, but Aprilia has also given the option to fit a bi-directional quick shifter. Now, this hopefully is a pressure-type quick shifter, which makes quick shifts very very seamless and not the mechanical ones that you've seen on the 390 duke which are somewhat notchy plus april has also thrown a fair few electronic riding aids like three riding modes with independent power and torque curves as well as independent traction control settings and you can switch off the traction control completely as well now this new motor is housed in typical april s aluminum twin spa frame with a bolt-on subframe. Now this bolt-on subframe is a bit interesting and I will get to why that is a little while later in the video. But this whole package is suspended on preload adjustable USD fork as well as monoshock. So you get preload adjustability at both ends. In terms of braking hardware, you get a 320mm rotor at the front with radial bibre calipers. Now this is something similar to the 390 Duke. And even at the rear, you get a 220mm disc. So something similar as well. Dual channel ABS is offered as standard. Also, the swanky 17-inch alloy wheels come wrapped with TVS Pro Talk Extreme Super Grippy tires. Now, these, in our opinion, are the best Indian options for motorcycles of this category. And we've tested it thoroughly on our personal 390 Dukes, and we've come to love this. Now, given the way this bike looks, you might feel that it is aggressively stunts. But you got to remember, this RS457 is a scaled-down RS660, not an RS34. So it will have sporty riding dynamics, but it will not be a full-blown sport bike that is only meant to do its bidding on the racetrack. So it will be comfortable or relatively comfortable for daily riding scenarios as well. And this theory is supported by the fact that the clip-on bars are slightly raised, and positioned above the triple clamps. Finally, the asking price. Yes, it is made in India. Yes, it is an Aprilia. And yes, it is loaded to the gill with superior tech and features. So, we expect it to cost around rupees 4.25 lakh ex showroom. And before you say it's too expensive, yes, it is going to be a premium motorcycle. But it will still undercut the likes of the Ninja 400 and the soon to be launch, the Ninja ZX4RR. It will not be as competitive as the 390 Duke, but we'll get to how this segment pans out in a few weeks time. 
More so, Aprilia is not going to restrict the 457cc engine platform to just the RS. Now, remember I told you about the bolted-on software? That will allow Aprilia engineers to sort of create new genres and package those motorcycles rather well. So we can definitely expect a 210457. But the bike which I'm eagerly looking forward to is perhaps the Touareg 457. Just imagine a twin cylinder 457cc, this much power and performance, but in an adventure touring format. That is surely going to be kick ass. But that is somewhere a couple of years down the line. What do you think about the RS457 though? Now, this bike will be launched during the Bharat GP proceedings. So make sure you're notified for when our review video or perhaps the walk around video of this bike drops on our channel. Don't forget to like and share this video. This is Jian signing off. Thank you for watching.